How are your eggs, Maddie? Oh, don't, um, guys, don't worry about this. It's lipstick. We swear. Grandma just gave her a kiss goodbye. <laughs> she didn't hit her head. <laughs> Th this time. Ew. So, Maddie's having eggs, Cheerios, and juice for breakfast because today, hopefully, we will be able to pierce her ears. Yay. Right, Maddie? Yay. <laughs> Does she know oh. that she's about to get stabbed? And she's sleeping. <laughs> yep. Good morning. Time out. Hope your ears. Poor Maddie. Go, go, go. Go. So the big thing is their arms and their head. Um, so basically one arm's going to be here and the other one's going to kind of be like holding her sideways. That's when they get the most mad. So yep. we're going to try and like mark her and then we'll hold her down just so good. I like to keep her not mad as long as possible. They normally end up getting over it really fast. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of like a shot. So it's the same kind of like okay. pissy yeah. that she gets when they like, hey, hold her down. Let me just pin down her leg. Studio. Yeah, one of the um one of the props. pictures, yeah, fell and scratched her. Stabbing someone. And like my husband and I didn't want to go in anymore. Because this old lady, she's like all the moms are like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, can I hold her? And I'm like, who are you? No. Yeah, they always ask that. There you go. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
She was doing so good up until she fell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that your poo? Hmm. Oh man. She, she knows. She knows. Almost done, Maddie. Okay, so we are day three. Oh, okay, <laughs> after we got her ears pierced, wanted to give you guys like a quick update. They're healing incredibly well. There's no, there's no bruising. Her ears didn't get swollen. She doesn't touch them, so we think that she doesn't even know that they're there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's business as usual for her. Yeah, as soon as as soon as we left the parking lot, she was perfectly fine. Probably gonna catch a lot of flack for this, but we decided finally after ten months and yeah, lots of talking about it, we finally went through and got Maddie here ears pierced. We didn't go the traditional route of going through the pediatrician or going to like a Claire's or, or a mall or something like that. Well, <clears throat> because our pediatrician didn't offer it. Yeah. And I personally don't trust places like Claire's with those uh, piercing guns or, or whatever you want to call them. Because it, it, it's unsanitary for the most because I know people that have done it and they get infections or, or all that not saying all of them but we decided to take her to a tattoo parlor instead and honestly it had to be the best thing because yeah they open everything up right in front of you everything's brand new the place we went to Fallen Saints it ha actually has uh, someone that did it and she's pediatrician recommended. I think it's a better thing to do to go to a tattoo parlor if you trust them, do your research before. Um, yeah, like go go and visit before you like take your kid, do it, you know, make sure that you feel comfortable, they feel comfortable. Like as soon as we walked in there, she was all smiles and she really liked the lady who was gonna do it in her ears, which we liked. You know, we made sure everything was clean. It like smelled really clean when we went in there. It, 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 yeah, that's how it should be. At the end of it, we did it because, well, it's our kid. And uh, I'm used to being in a tattoo parlor. I've got multiple tattoos. So mm -hmm. I know kind of more or less what to look for, what they do or and all that stuff. And you know, 
I can honestly say it was the best thing. She cried, not from the pain, but more of why the way I was holding her. And then we're going on three days now, no swelling, there's no bleeding, nothing. There's no redness, yeah. like nothing. She's not showing like, oh, it hurts, or she's not grabbing at it, there's no discomfort. So that's why we did it, and we saw her doing it with an, a needle instead of the tattoo, or not the tattoo, the piercing gun, which is just a bunch of blunt trauma. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like that creates more trauma to your ear or your nose or wherever you're piercing than like a very, very sharp needle because usually tattoo guns they pierce your ear with the earring and if you've ever looked at a back of an earring no like point to it so you're basically stabbing your ear or your nose or whatever with something that's flat instead of a very sharp needle that goes right through your ear instead of an earring yeah that's why we chose to just do it there and i recommend it I would highly recommend anyone to, if you're thinking of getting a piercing for your child or just yourself, look into that. We went on Friday the 13th, so they were having a special. So we got both her ears pierced with the earrings included for 50 bucks. So I'm all about savings. Yeah, it was supposed to be 100 with the earrings. <laughs> Crazy about savings right there. <laughs> with the earrings included, but it came out to 50. And they're like, they're so perfect. They're like so even. I just, I, I think she did a good job. We'll, we'll link the, um, the tattoo parlor in the description. We'll link this, we'll link her Instagram. So if you're in the... Yeah, if you're in the Jacksonville, North Carolina, North Carolina area, area, definitely check them out. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, the use. If you have any questions about what we did, yeah, or what it's like, <clears throat> ask away. Yeah, I don't mind answering them. And if you've got hate, drop it on down. That's fine. You can comment that also. <laughs> I need some stuff to read. Honestly. Bye. <laughs>